Hambini fans and welcome to another episode of Hambini Reams. In today's episode, we have these XR DB508 Ultras, that's DB, not DBR, by that manufacturing juggernaut that is Magine. Start off with the weight. So this is the front wheel. Bear in mind the front and rear wheels do not have the same rim profile. It's 599 grams. Back wheel is 744 grams. So back wheel is 30 mil wide on the outside. And it is 56, 57, 58-ish mil deep. This is the front wheel. The front wheel is 30 mil wide. And then the depth is 48, maybe 50. Now, these spokes are made by someone called Vonda. And you can see they are pretty deep. And they're approximately called five mil. And then the thickness, which you may or may not be able to see, is like 0.8. That is thin. The hub end of the spoke, they have metal inserts and the carbon goes through the middle and then like flared around the outside so it can't come out. At the rim side, the nipple is completely hidden. So it's a round hole and it's buried deep in there. The only way to get to it is via the access hole on the outside. So if you need to do some spoke tensioning, you have to take the rim, uh, you have to take the tire off take the rim tape off to get to it. Front hub is pretty much standard run of the mill affair. It's not shrouded, which for an aero wheel set, you'd probably expect at this level. Uh, but nonetheless, it is still, you know, of decent quality. Um, we've got 15267 bearings on both sides. The disc um, mount is on this side and it's full. Uh, some of them only have like every fourth spline engaged but this one's full and it's a slight taper on there so when you pull it on and off it it does bite it doesn't rock or anything like that um, the lacing is cross laced on the disc brake side so the non-drive side so braking load goes through this side the far side which is the drive side is completely radially laced um, they have moved you can see it a bit clearer on this side the the position where the spokes engage as far out as they can. There's probably only about nine mil between there and the hook of the spoke or where the spoke engages. So that sort of, what do you, what do you want to call it? The bending moment or load is moved as far over. So it basically makes the wheel very, very stiff. So this is the rear hub and it's fairly similar to the front hub. Obviously the spokes are slightly shorter because this is a deeper wheel. In order to, um, to get this apart, you can pull this end cap off and then remove that and it exposes what is effectively a DT style ratchet. Now there are some subtle differences in here and I guess the biggest one is this which is the spring so in a lot of them they're round profile in this one it's a rectangular profile spring that end cap goes onto there and then to expose the rest of it you can just fish it out again there's another rectangular profile spring in there the sealing on here isn't as good as some of the other ones i guess the the nine velo one the seal is a lot better than this one um, and in order to get this out, you need a special tool. So you need one of these to push into there to disengage it. So uh, some of the other wheels, you don't need that, but this one you do. Now on some of these hubs, which are coming out from the Far East, these things aren't machined or, uh, you know, they're just basically rough. These, this one is machined um, and it's you know, pretty flat as well. Uh, there's no issues in terms of engagement. It, it's very, oh, you can actually hear it like that. 
that's how it sounds when you're riding it. Um, it's a very dull noise. It's not very loud at all. The free hub, you can probably just make out some of the bite marks on there. That isn't hard, hard. I mean, some of the other hubs we get are like hard anodized. This one isn't, it clearly isn't. Um, if you're putting a load load through it, then it's going to mark it. It's probably not going to go through it because you're going to the bare aluminium, but it's just something to be better aware of, um, especially if you're in sort of inclement weather. It's more likely to sort of stick on there and you might need to use a hairdryer to get it off. So on the R12, they fit perfectly. There's no issues with tyre clearance um, by any means. Front wheel is slightly uh, shallower than the back wheel. Crosswind, if it's really windy, I mean, you can feel it on any wheel, but I would say this is no different. The biggest thing when you're riding along with this is the noise. You can hear this whooshing noise as the spokes go through the wind. Um, and the other part is, and I guess this is a bit more important, is, you, is the wheels are completely uncompromising. There's vibration that comes through there because they are so stiff. Right, it's that time of the show again. It's time to see if the pen is working. I'm probably gonna to have to find a new joke because this is wearing a bit thin, but by Hambini, age five. Remember to like me on Instagram and on Patreon and on Facebook as well. This is the Magine website. You can get your wheels from here. They, if you live in the UK, they will be with you within a week. Um, so they've got warehouses all over. Uh, and well, it was within with me within a week. And um, these are the weights, and you've got a few mixtures in sizes: so 40, 45, 50, 58, 60, and 67. If you watch the UCI rules this week, that 67 might become a bit of a problem. However, I'm not sure that their measuring stick can measure that accurately. So from that, take what you will. Uh, and then there's an overview of all the spokes and things. So the shallower depth wheels have a slightly different spoke it's not quite as wide um, stuff about the ratchet and the rim so the 405 and the 508 are 30s and the 607s are 32 on the front and some bits and pieces on there oh, and this is quite interesting so a lot of the far eastern manufacturers are rating their tires to a way higher impact rating so it easily passes the UCI limits but it'll exceed that even further. This is the test cert for that wheel if you want the full details of everything then you'll have to look on Patreon there's nothing really wrong with it I mean mechanically that wheel is pretty good um, the fits and things they're all in the good area uh, and the vibration was fairly low. Ah we're on to the tip bits now the good well they're very stiff it's non-compromising error. I can't emphasize that enough. They have gone to town with making it very aerodynamic uh, and it looks good. So yeah, it's good for the, uh, the coffee run, let's say. And if you're going to get wider tires, then this is a good choice. Now the bad, the bad is they are very stiff. You may not like that. Um, some of my friends didn't like that level of stiffness and it may not be for everybody, especially in this age when people are worried more about comfort than anything else. If you've got any questions or comments, remember to uh, whack them in the box below. Remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, keep banging your hairdresser.